Hi, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I have something special for you today. Um, I took out one of many, what we refer to as dogs, old paintings where I was practicing and feeling my way and really not making much of a success of anything. But the value of doing that, um, the more time in the saddle with your paintbrush, the better you get it figuring out paint to water ratio and texture and color and that sort of thing. So I have a number of old canvases stuck away and today I pulled one out and decided to do one of my recent series. I've been doing abstracting uh, florals and I'd like to show you an absolute disaster of a painting that I pulled out and I'm in the midst of pulling it out of disaster and creating a floral. I don't know if it's finished yet, but this is a short time lapse so that you can see a, about a 40 minute painting session really pulled this into shape. Uh, so this is the painting and I'll put this up at the end of the video so you can see uh, that I have worked on this for not a very long time. And like I said, I don't know if this is finished or not, but I had a really good time doing it. Okay, so this is probably one of the ugliest paintings I have in my stash of many, but I wanted you to see where I came from. And this is a beautiful Texas Indian paintbrush photo that I took recently in a painting session. So here I'm just laying out a very limited palette. I'm using white gesso instead of white paint, and I'm using Nova Color paints, a deep green, a Hansa yellow, and my white gesso. And I'm painting over this um, with <laughs> my tools today, uh, believe it or not, are makeup brushes. I really like the full, uh, the fullness of these makeup brushes. I bought them at a big box store when I showed up at a workshop last week, oh, excuse me, last year, and I hadn't brought my paint brushes with me, so I went to this uh, small town uh, big box store and they didn't have much for paint brushes so I went to the makeup counter and bought some big luscious uh, makeup brushes and I've really enjoyed painting with them. I like loading them with multiple colors and letting the paint mix on the page. I'm strategically not trying to depict this photo I'm just trying to sort of uh, channel the feeling that I get from these flowers, uh, the, the beautiful colors, and I'm just playing with the colors. I know that if I use a limited palette and just play around with the colors, I'll get some beautiful colors and shapes in there, and I'm not going to worry too much about whether they're exactly lined up with the photograph. It's just going to be my interpretation of these paintbrushes. I'm trying to get rid of some of the glare so that my camera doesn't pick up quite so much glare. <clears throat> this painting session took me 20 minutes, uh, excuse me, 40 minutes, but I have uh, sped it up a bit so that it's a short video for you. I'm adding cadmium red light. I felt like that matched those paint brushes and I added just a little bit of pyrrol red just to give it some variety. My paint brush, my big soft makeup brushes are picking up a little bit of the paint that hasn't dried underneath. I like moving the paint around and I like blending some of the colors I like when the green goes into the reds and and uh, I'm picking up some white and some red on my brush and sort of mingling them. 
you can't see on this photo, but I'm also picking up some of the Hansa yellow and I'm just kind of moving the color around wet into wet a little bit and fairly thick paint. I'm really getting into the flow of, of painting here. Um, I'm having a great time not worrying about whether something is correct or not. You know, even at the very end of this video, I'm not certain that this painting is finished. It's, it can just be a layer and tomorrow when I have fresh eyes and look at it, I may want to change it up and do some different things with it. But that's the advantage of working with acrylics or oils. There I'm picking up a little bit of the green underneath and I like that look. It gives that petal some shadow, some, some uh, feeling of shadow. I'm getting rid of some ugliness down under there, but you know, even with that uh, experimental painting that I probably did, oh, eight or 10 years ago, I'm not sure, but even with the uh, ugliness of that painting down underneath there, it still lends a little bit of texture and color, and I like that. I'd much rather uh, paint over a disturbed surface, even if I, need to glue some collage papers down before I start painting. I, I prefer not to paint on a white <coughs> canvas. I like my paintings to start out with something going on before I launch into a painting process. Even though I'm putting a little bit of detail, some smaller forms, shapes, I'm still using these sloppy makeup brushes because I really like how it gives me sort of a luscious feel to put the paint on this way. A lot of stiff brushes that are made for painting pick up the paint um, when I'm painting, you know, uh, if I have paint underneath uh, a passage, instead of laying down paint, I'm picking it up as I lay it down. I don't really care for a stiff brush. Here I've picked up a cat's tongue brush. It is meant for watercolor and water media. And I like the shape, the roundness of the, of the brush itself because it kind of gives me a, a bit of an edge when it comes to putting a, a leaf or a, a petal, flower petal in place. I like mixing color right on the canvas, putting, loading the brush with multiple colors and then pushing the colors around. I feel like the, the flowers themselves often have multiple colors. The petals seem to have multiple colors. that particular flower up there felt like it needed to be bigger. I'm not married to my image. I just wanted to kind of continue to refer back to it for color and shape, values, just to be inspired by it, not to be trying to depict what I'm seeing exactly. These 
Spring flowers here in Texas are so beautiful out in the countryside, these Indian paint brushes, and they're only uh, going to be growing along the roadside for a few weeks in the spring. There are a few little pops of blue left over from that old experimental painting uh, that are peeking through there, and they actually add a little bit of a dimension to this painting. So I'm about uh, to draw this to a close. I'm sort of tweaking here and there a little bit, and I'll leave it for tomorrow or another day to come back and take a look with fresh eyes and see if I want to do something more with this painting. But I'm very pleased that I brought it to this, uh, I brought it this far in the 40 minutes that I spent. I appreciate your staying with me and watching me paint. I hope you got a few good ideas. If you have any questions, leave them below uh, down in the comment section. And don't forget to hit subscribe. Thank you for joining me.